So I'm back on my 128, uh, and a while ago, I lowered it. And the way I did that is I put spacers in the rear um, for the little perches that rest on the, the leaf, and that lowered the back quite a bit. And then I just cut the front springs, which dropped the car a ton, but there's really no suspension travel. kind of killed the, the functionality of the front suspension. So since then... I've actually acquired a set of strut assemblies. These are the rear strut assemblies for an early uh, Fiat X19, and these are supposed to be a direct replacement um, for the fronts of the 128, and it's supposed to result in a lower ride height. So I'm going to put them on as is without, you know, cutting the spring or anything like that and see where we're in, we end up. I'm guessing I'm going to have to raise the rear a little for the car to look right. So I went ahead and here are the spacers I use. These are basically lug extensions for like a, an ATV. And these are the ones I used. So that's basically how much it lowered the car. And I picked up a, a shorter set. So should really raise the car about an inch. Um, so just gonna do that. Again, may not look as cool, but should be uh, much more uh, functional. So you could go back and watch when I originally installed these spacers, but this is a really simple uh, swap. Basically, these two nuts come off, this perch comes off, and then these are the spacers which are threaded on to a stud that's part of the lower control arm. So I'm just going to thread these two off, thread on the shorter ones, reinstall the perch. So I will do that now, but I'll just do it sped up. So if you really want the details, on how this was done, you could go to that earlier video where I originally lowered the rear of this car. front should be pretty straightforward gonna remove the wheel remove the three um, bolts that are sitting on the top here of the strut and then removing the uh, large bolt that holds the uh, strut to the knuckle and then grabbing the X19 assembly and um, putting it back So one thing about uh, swapping these strut assemblies is they're actually not a direct swap is what I just learned. Um, this is the strut mount for the 128. And this is the one that was on the X19 struts. And I don't know if you could tell by looking side to side, but they're, the spacing is slightly different. So if you look, if I line up like that top row of bolt holes, you can see that the bottom one, right? So the top two are all in a straight line. And you can see how far off this guy is. It's too far in, whereas this one is much further down. So carefully using my um, spring compressor, I'm gonna compress the spring, undo this guy, undo this bolt here, and swap the uh, 128 strut mount even though i should get new ones onto the the um x19 strut and then from there it's a straight install so the strut goes in two bolts holding it into the knuckle the three talent 10 millimeters now line up on the top and hold it in so that is a oem rear X19 strut now mounted on the front of my 128. I'll wrap up the one on the other side, put the wheels back on, lower it, and we'll see how she sits. So here's the final result and how it currently sits on the ground. And I am actually very happy with it. Um, it's a little higher, front and back, but it actually is a functioning suspension. 
Um, it has travel. It doesn't clunk. It doesn't bottom out immediately like it was before. I'm sure it'll hit the bump, bump stops if you hit a good bump, but that's expected when a car is lowered this much. So to kind of recap what I did, I raised the rear by switching out those lowering blocks, which were basically stud extensions. Um, and I went to a one and a half inch block, which raised net. So now the rear is only lowered one and a half inches. Height's good. I'm happy with it. The fronts, I am now running strut assemblies from the rear of an X19. Um, and specifically it has to be an early X19 because at the top of the strut assembly, the early models used a, a Philonic or, you know, like that polymer um, washer, spacer, so you don't have metal on metal binding when you steer, when you're turning. The later assemblies, I believe, use steel because the back of their X19 doesn't steer. It wasn't an issue, but for these, you need the early assembly. So X19 strut, stock X19 spring coil. Um, the only 128 part is the actual strut mount at the top because that three bolt pattern, um, the X19 one didn't line up to the strut towers on the 128. Um, those X19 rear struts, the early models specifically, are really hard to find or getting hard to find. Um, they're rebuildable if you do find them, right? They're with the, by removing the gland nut and finding inserts. One thing I did size up and I confirmed does work is you could use the lower strut assembly from the 128, which are still available, with the upper portion from the rear of a one or a X19. So that may mean, you know, you could find a, um, those parts. So like the coil, the upper perch assembly, and then the, uh, you know, the spacer and all that sort of stuff. Um, but here it is, I'm happy with it. Um, so if you're thinking of kind of lowering your 128 and trying to find parts, Try to find early X19 rear struts. Starting to do whole more content on this 128. It's been sitting for a while. I haven't posted in a while because um, I was really waiting for a lot of parts to come in and things like that. But uh, you should be seeing some content coming along um, on this little car. So uh, like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned.